Today we're going to be adding a room reservation or accommodation page to your app. To start, you can find the room reservation page in the beta tab or under view all, which you can just search for it. All right, once it's in your app, you can change the page name and change it to rooms. We'll come back to this tab in just a second. Underneath the page style and color scheme tab, you're able to adjust the colors, the fonts, the sizes of the fonts in your app. And for example, we can edit our rating colors to something else. So this page is useful for getting the pretty things out of the way in your app. But let's head over to the actual content. Back up to room reservation, we'll go ahead and hit add accommodation and that leads you to the accommodation dashboard. Let's proceed. Once you're in the dashboard, first thing you do is add an accommodation and you can start by naming your accommodation and you can select the accommodation type. Insert an email address and then choose an address for the accommodations. Underneath the brief description, you can enter some text about the hotel or accommodations. And then you can select the state, a city, the country, and the zip code. Now. All right. And then as far as the phone number, make sure that you include the country code before the number. And in the United States, that's one and you enter it with no spaces. And you may notice underneath the facts tab that there's no red star. That means that it's an optional tab to fill in. Then you can select the owner. And in just a second, I'll explain to you where this owner comes from. And then you can display the profile as well. Then we'll pick in the check-in time and check-out time. I'll just edit that to 9 p.m. And then you have the option of allowing your users to use an offer code within the app. Go ahead and click no. And you also have the option of allowing the users to add reviews. Go ahead and click yes. You may have noticed underneath a lot of some of these tabs, they have the tools icon. These icons inform you that you can edit, delete, or generally manage this information underneath these tabs in the general settings. That's where you can also find the location for you to change or add an owner to your accommodations. So we'll go ahead and pick a few of these accommodation amenities. Here you can add images, video files, or YouTube links directly into the accommodation page, but we'll go ahead and skip that for now. You also have the option of adding more accommodation details right underneath here. Just a brief description or more views or nearby things that your hotel or property has to offer. You can also change the accommodation details title. He has the option of adding more accommodations, but I think we're satisfied with one. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Once your accommodation is saved within the app, you can head on over to the rooms. Click on add room to provide room information for your accommodations and under room details, the accommodation name is disabled because you've already entered it prior. Then enter your price per night. Here we have the option of selecting our room type. By default, a number of room types are given to you, but as the icon tool tells you, you have the option of editing or deleting these in the general settings. And then you can add the rooms available. You have the option of listing the entire property as a single accommodation. This means that, for example, you may have a house with multiple rooms within, but users will be booking the entire property, including the individual rooms and the bathrooms. Select the number of rooms you have within and bathrooms, and then select the maximum number of adults per room, and then select the maximum children allowed in case zero if you don't want any at all. Here we can add our room amenities and we can edit and manage these in the general settings. 
We can add some Wi-Fi, a free newspaper, or some phone access. And then we go ahead and hit save. Back on our dashboard, we have the option of setting this particular room as our featured room. And then we double check to make sure it's active, which means it'll pop up on our app. Under general settings, you can manage the settings for your accommodation. And for general information, which can be found under the configuration settings on the left side panel, you have the option to select your currency for which to receive payment. And then you can also choose if you want to auto confirm your bookings, which by default is off. And then you have the option to select a default image for your accommodation. Under payment methods, you can select among the different payment methods through which you would like to receive your payments for your accommodations. Click on language settings to manage the settings for your accommodation. And in this section, you'll find all the default text already displayed on your app. And any changes you may hear will automatically start reflecting in your app. Click on discount and tax on the left-hand panel and you can add a new discount rule if you want to set a new discount for the app. You can choose the accommodation type, the total amount for which a discount will be available, the rule for the discount, the rate for the discount, the name for the discount, and then you can choose the status, which will reply to the accommodation type. When you're ready, hit save. Click on coupons to add a new coupon and then input the necessary information and when you're satisfied, hit save. Under room manager, you can edit, delete, or manage the room types. For example, you can add a triple room type as an option. You can also edit the room amenities by adding an extra option. For in this case, you can add fully furnished rooms. Underneath the accommodation manager, you can edit, delete, or manage the accommodation types. For example, you can add an extra type of accommodation. You can also edit the amenities listed. You can delete them as well. And you always have the option of changing the icon type by clicking on the icon to the left of the item. Under the owners tab, you can add an owner and select the desired owner. And the selected accommodation owner will be labeled as admin. And then you can click on the CMS pages to provide terms and conditions and a privacy policy to your accommodation. When you're satisfied, hit save and all your new settings will be applied to your room reservation. Once you have bookings for your room reservation, you can manage them by searching for the booking ID or accommodation name. And you can filter your bookings by their date, the status, the payment status. And you can reset your filters for your bookings as well. You can also manage your reviews. You can turn on auto approval to allow reviews to be posted automatically. And you can select the individual hotel to get reviews filtered by published or unpublished. So, so you know, you can see the select hotel and filter type on a desktop, but on mobile, you'll see auto approval and you're all set.